morning, Patty Elementary. It is Monday, February 3rd, 2020. I'm Landon King. And I'm Jack Carney. Welcome to Patty Elementary School. We hope all learners are ready for a marvelous Monday. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Jack, can you believe the Super Bowl results? Yeah, Landon. The Chiefs won their first Super Bowl championship in 50 years. That's perseverance. Last week, a riddle was, I sail an ocean you'll never swim. I voyage seas, avoid cut and ease. Yet my hold is filled with water. What am I? Wow, that one is tough. I think I got it. It took some time. Is it a cloud? Yeah, it landed. It is a cloud. Clouds carry water and sail through the skies, but we can't sail on them. Also, the word of the day is confident. Being confident means to have a feeling that you can accomplish something. Let's all be confident today as we learn. Important announcement for teachers. You may print your report cards now. Please remember to use the RECO printers. Now it is time for Mr. Luciati. All right, good morning, everybody. All that confidence, that was a great word of the day because I have a couple kids here with me today who are showing confidence. And also, it's going to take confidence for you guys to be the best that you can be. So here's what I wanted to ask you quickly. How many of you guys know exactly what your goal is out there? How many of you know exactly what you need to do to get a little bit better every single day? Because remember, that's what the level up boards are all about. It's about setting a goal and it's about getting better a little bit every single day on that one goal that you have, that every individual has. So if you don't know where you should improve, if you don't know what your goal is, if you don't have a goal, you need to turn to your teacher when we're done here and say, excuse me, can you please help me make a goal? because every single person should have a goal to get better. So, with that said, I just hope we have a great day. And I'm gonna highlight a few kids here. They're all from Miss Mumford's class. So we actually have Miss Mumford's class here behind the cameras as our studio audience, but they're really here for support because that's what we do when we have, um, you know, our friends in our classes or whoever it is or even each other as teachers who are doing great things, we need to make sure we support them and celebrate them. So that's what we're here to do. So first up, I want to bring up Natalia. How are you doing, Natalia? So Natalia came to me last week and said, Mr. Luciano, she wrote me a letter, actually, and tried to persuade me with this letter to um, start a school-wide kindness project. And February is Kindness Month. And here's my thing. If any child comes to me with a way that we can make our school better, that is super important to me. Um, and we're gonna run with it the absolute best we can. So what do you think my answer was immediately? Yes, okay. let's do it. So Natalia is here to describe her project to you. Um, so I have made a project. It's a challenge for one for the school. Miss um, Mumford has been looking at like charts so, so she can give to each teacher in the school. And um, the teacher that recognizes a student that goes like um, above and beyond the like being kindness, um, she gives a filling one of the Ah, that's awesome. So let me let me help you guys out too. There's a chart right outside of this room here with each grade level, and it's a bar graph. So throughout the week, teachers, you are going to be looking out for kids in your classroom who go, Natalia said, above and beyond on kindness. Not simple kindness, above and beyond on kindness, because kindness is an expectation, right? We shouldn't be rewarded for, for just being kind. We should be rewarded for going above and beyond. So every time a teacher sees a student going above and beyond with their kindness, they're going to mark off on their own chart. And at the end of the week, Natalia and a couple other kids are going to come around and get those charts from the teachers and start keeping track of which grade level is performing more 
over the top acts of kindness. And we're going to track that out here. And then we'll come up with a big prize for the winner probably at the end of the month, right? All right. Natalia, I'm super proud of you for coming up with this idea, spreading kindness, but also looking for ways that we can make our school better. So I'm proud of you. Thank you for that. It's on. We're doing it. Starting today. All right. So we're going to swing the camera over here for one second. I have two more students from Miss Mumford's class I need to recognize. And I have Leah and Tiana right here. Leah and Tiana have earned good news calls from Miss Mumford's class. There's a ton of details here about what they've done to earn these good news calls. But straight up, they have grown in their, they've improved their grades substantially since the beginning of the year, like big time. So girls, that is not an easy thing to do. I am super proud of you for that. But I want to ask you guys, what did it take for you guys to improve your grades as much as you did? Um, so what I did is I turned in the homework every day and I have to make sure that I, I am responsible for it and turn it in so yeah. I can get good grades. There you go, because the homework is practice and you can't get better at anything without practice and practicing all the time. Awesome. How about you, darling? If you have to work harder than you normally should to get good grades. If you're having a hard time, ask teachers for help or just work harder than you normally should or challenge yourself at work. Ooh, that's perfect, right? It's not easy, right? It's not supposed to be easy. Getting better, getting those kinds of grades is not easy. That's the point. But when you work hard and you get those grades, it feels really, really good. And then it makes you wonder, what else could I do? Or what else could I earn? So ladies, I am super proud of you. You keep setting a good example for everybody in your class in this school. And you keep doing your thing. Everybody out there, find your goal. Make sure you have a goal today. Work, work hard to get better at it. Don't forget, together we are. Daddy Strong. Have a great one.